In this video, we're going to talk about line animations. So a line animation is the animation of a border going around a vector shape. You can create some pretty interesting effects with this. Here's one example of a trail going from the start point to the end point. You can create a lot of interesting vector shapes, and knowing that you can animate that border moving from the start point to the end point can result in some really interesting designs. So here's some text and here's a number building from the start point of the vector shape to the end point. So how does this work? So let's start back at this um, element and remove the animation. When you have a vector shape selected, you have the option here for line draw. You can set an arbitrary value here from 0 to 100 percent or you can animate it. Let's show you how to animate. <clears throat> so we're going to start at 0 percent, hit the record button, go forward 5 seconds, and then adjust the line draw percentage to 100 percent. And this automatically creates your keyframes here where this keyframe represents 0 percent and this represents 100. And it uses the default easing transition which is ease in out. We can change this to linear so that it more closely reflects uh, the walking speed that you would want to represent here. So that's it. And when you preview this, you get the animation of your vector shape. And it looks very smooth because it's a SVG, a scalable vector graphic. When you zoom in, your vector shape will be very sharp. There's a few other options you have available to you when you're animating a stroke on a vector. So this top area represents the line draw going from 0 to 100, but you can also animate the distance between a line dash. And the way you do that is instead of having line draw selected, you select this drop down and change that to dash. So in this document, which you can download in the description of this video, it shows off that line dash feature. Now that replaces any line draw setting, so when you switch over to line dash, your line draw will no longer work. What this shows is the animation of the gap between the dashes animating from 10 to 50. You can also change the actual length of the dashes and this one shows 10 to 50. And then you can also change the offset. And that's sort of the starting point of your uh, line dash animation. It sort of goes backwards for this. If you animate from 0 to negative 30, it changes that starting point um, position from 0 to negative 30. And these uh, measurements are all in pixels. So if you want a 50 pixel line gap, you would just insert 50 in this second box. So this is your um, line dash value, this is your line gap value, and this is your offset. Here's a complex line dash animation created by Sebastian Aubrey to show the movement of blood through the heart. So in this animation, he's created vectors that draw simple lines and by placing them behind other objects, he can show the flow of blood going into the heart. Now what he's doing here is animating the offset. So that makes it appear as though the line dash is moving from one direction to the other. And you can change the direction by animating from maybe 0 to 100 or negative 100 to 0. So that will change your direction of this line dash animation. So when you're animating these uh, line draw properties, it sort of moves around the outer edge of your shape. If you were to close this shape and sort of go like that, it automatically adjusts and you'll always have a percentage-based calculation. So no matter if your, your line increases in length, it will always represent the same percentage of that line draw completion. You can also use um, easing transitions. So in this 
animation, we have kind of a different easing transition where it bounces to the end and then comes back. And the way you do that is you can change your easing properties in this advanced easing editor and you can see exactly how it'll behave as you preview. So a couple other things you can do with this uh, line draw animation is you can animate the building of really complex shapes. So this is multiple line draw animations happening and you can set each one to stagger and start at different points. If you have any questions about this technique, please leave them in the comments below. And thanks for watching.